Hey fam, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to keep it nice and chill because that's pretty much what this book is. All right, first of all, I would like to say a very big thank you to Juan over at Plagued by Visions because holy shit balls, Batman. You folks just are so nice and you keep making my brain drop out of my ass and I don't really know what to do with myself other than say thank you because holy shit. <laughs> so many kind words that I don't really know what to do. So we're just going to move on, okay? <laughs> Okay, so first and foremost, if you are distracted by shiny things, I need you to understand. I don't know if I can get this with the fucking ring light. It's really shiny and it's going to distract you for a moment. So know that. <laughs> If you got shit to do. <laughs> if you're not the only person in the car going to the bookstore, you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> it's been like rainy around Seattle in recent days, so it's been nice to read with. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I need you to understand if you love pets that he's going to have you right from the get go. So I'm gonna share this moment with you to give you an idea of how this book will get you in the feels right from the get go. All right, listen, they're really cute doggies. And then you get to like the like dedication page or whatever, and it's thinking of Richard Matheson. Like, get out of here, fuck. So I started this book pretty much already ready to cry because everything makes me cry. So warning, if that's you as well, now you know. <laughs> I hate crying. So I had two concerns with this one. If you don't know, shall I read the synopsis again, just in case? So this is a Castle Rock story and it is a small town where word gets around quickly. That's why Scott Carey wants to confide only in his friend, Dr. Bob Ellis about his strange condition. He's losing weight without getting it thinner and the scales register the same whether he is in clothes or out of them, no matter how heavy they are. Like he'll like put change and shit in his pockets and stuff, for example. Scott also has new neighbors who have opened a fine dining experience in town, although it's an experience being shunned by the locals. Deirdre McComb and her wife, Missy Donaldson, don't exactly conform to a lifestyle the community approves of. And now Scott seems trapped in a feud with a couple over their dogs dropping their business on his lawn. Missy may be warm and friendly, but Deirdre is as cold as ice. As the town prepares for its annual Thanksgiving 12K run, of course, Scott begins to understand the prejudices the women face and tries to help. Unlikely alliances form, and the mystery of Scott's affliction brings out the best in people who have indulged the worst in themselves and others. So I had two main concerns going into this, which was how he would handle things with a couple and how things would be handled concerning weight. I also began reading Billy Summers while I was in the middle of this, and Billy Summers apparently hates fat people. It's like a recurring fucking theme. And I don't know if that's just Steven's way of being like, by the way, this isn't a good guy or what, but I need you to pick a different tune, sir. Anyway, um, I, he didn't like, at the same time, not, it takes a lot to really bug me. I think like, I'm just kind of more of a, but why kind of person like who the fuck does that or get out of my face? You know, it's one or the other, but <laughs> um, so like, Maybe that's why nothing really bugged me with the lesbians, which by the way, is the word of the book. Lesbians, lesbians. <laughs> Cause there's always gotta be a word of the book. I don't know if I've enough, is there one in Billy Summers? I'm like 140 or some odd pages into it. I don't know if there's a word of the book, but there's definitely one in this one and it's lesbians. <laughs> My main issue with this one and that one so far is the weight thing. Apparently the residents of Castle Rock think that if you weigh any kind of thing, you're gonna have a heart attack with your next step. Are you okay? Are you sure about this? Maybe you shouldn't leave the house. 
But otherwise, this is a chill book to meander through. If you haven't, if if you feel like you have no business reading Stephen King before going to sleep, go ahead and read this one. It's fine. It's a chill book. It's fine. Nothing's well. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. I do know that this book got into my feels and I'm not okay with that. Like, what the hell, Steve? Like, come on. I was like ready to cry. There were times when I was like, what is it with this weight thing, people? And then I was just like, so if you, if you know, it's even remotely easy to evoke emotions from you, be warned for that as well. It's probably gonna get you a bit in the feels. The way I feel with how the lesbians were handled felt i don't know if maybe he's just one of those writers where we get to experience him working through shit i don't know in a way that's kind of how it felt like i'm trying like okay all right you're i mean if you're curious about my feelings on the ending what ending that's how I feel. But it did get me in the feels, so fine. But yeah, that's pretty much it besides big fucking thank you. <laughs> Until next time and beyond, please take care. And I will try as well.